What's going on guys? Welcome back. Um, it's actually really hot right now, but I wanted to do a video for you guys. In the last video I told you guys that me and Dallas were going to go look at a car. And we actually did and it was good. And it's right behind you guys. So if you guys do follow me on Instagram, I'm pretty sure you guys already know. And I'm pretty sure you guys already know what car it is because... Yeah. So this is a 2003. <laughs> Lexus IS300 sports grass again another one I found another one and it's actually in pretty good condition so the car has 190,000 miles it is of course all the more modern let's just swap it but it, it is clean title and the dude didn't even want to sell it because he was saying it was his baby and and all that you know and it came with a roof rag Probably good for snowboarding with the homies uh, in the winter, but honestly, it's time to actually start what I didn't finish. Or does that make sense? Yeah. He actually got a new timing belt. Uh, uh, what's what else did he get? Oh, new water pump, and yeah, and the motor is actually really clean. It's it doesn't whine or leak, and he got new stocks. You guys can tell, dude, they're barely brand new. I don't think you guys see, like, clean-ass stocks like this. They're super clean. And then, what else? The only thing he said was the clear coat on here was coming off. But I'm about to wash it and see all the imperfections right now. But as of now, this is what you guys can see. I'll show you guys the interior right now. And... Same exact interior as my other one, but it actually smells better in here. And yo, look what this is what Dallas found out. Fucking fucked up. And then I need to go to a junkyard because this whole thing is coming off. But it was a good, good find, and I uh, picked it up in Anaheim. Super clean. It smells pretty good. I'm gonna pop the hood for you guys. So yeah, 03, it's super clean. It's actually really clean. And what surprised me in Dallas is there aren't are no leaks in the valve cover gaskets. Pretty amazing. And yeah, it's actually clean all around. Um, he had some subs, I could see, chopped it off I guess, or something, oh no, it's right here, and that's the positive, new battery, but, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this, the car, and the shocks on the, the trunk are not blown, like the other one I had, but, oh yeah, this one also comes with a privacy one, Matt, pretty tight. I love this wagon already, but it's time to start new, time to start fresh. I want to shout out to, uh, give a shout out to Dallas for coming out with me because we were in traffic for like two hours in Anaheim. And I want to give a shout out to Bob. Thank you for letting me borrow your MR2. And I still haven't registered it yet. It passed smog with flying colors. And yeah. So, let me guys, let me, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Was it worth it to get another wagon? It literally, it literally looks the same, exactly the same. But I'm gonna wash this thing down and see how the paint really is. Um, before I wash the car, I'm actually gonna make some food. I don't know if you guys know the the hot ass, the times two spicy ramen. I'm making that shit right now, boy. I barely put any of the sauce in, and I'm fucking dying. Fuck me. Just broke the bucket. About to wash the car. I finally recovered from my mouth burning. But, yeah, it's pretty dirty. Super dirty. And, yeah. So I'm gonna go wash this thing off and let's see how it looks.
So right now I just washed her down, kind of a little with soap. Uh, the soap I use is uh, Armor All. It's just the Ultra Shine Wash and Wax. And then, um, honestly, um, the paint is all right. I would say like seven, six out of 10. But the, the hood is really faded, as you can see. Like the clear coat's gone on it. So honestly, I'll probably have to take Ricky or give this to Ricky so Ricky could repaint it and then clear coat it. But other than that, um, I would have to, I'm gonna have to clay bar it because um, the last owner probably left it out. It wasn't garage kept and it's really rough. I'm probably scratching the paint by doing that. But um, yeah, I think, and the, ri the roof spoiler is faded too by the clear coat. You can see it right here. It's really rough. Right here, smooth, rough. And, and it's not that glossy. Well, it is kind of glossy, but it's kind of like blurred out. Almost almost like orange peel. After getting all that dirt off. And the car is super high compared to my last wagon. And I didn't even lower it. But yeah, see, it's just a little bit. Hmm. Probably have to buff all of this out, but it's so, all. Paint's pretty bad. Six out of ten. Yeah, I would say six out of ten. Yeah, this car has uh, needs a lot of work, and I'm not really a paint guy, so I can't really paint things. I would have to probably get Ricky to paint it. I mean, you guys saw my front lip, but hey, that that's actually pretty cool. But um, yeah, um, it's time to work on this thing, you know, and, and get it done. Uh, hope you guys like it because. I'm loving this thing. It's like a mom wagon. Let me know what you guys think about the fucking the roof rack. Honestly, it would look way cleaner without it. And probably save some gas so my aerodynamics are better. But yeah. Hope you guys like the wagon. Because um, I didn't want to get another IS. I'd probably get a five speed and all the five speeds were either overpriced or fucking expensive wait overpriced or salvage title or a fuckload of miles but yeah that's why i have this baby but i don't know we'll see and whack fest is coming up august 4th i think august 4th august 1st august somewhere around august and um this thing needs to get ready and i'll my rear bumper is barely on. Shit. Hopefully it makes it to LA because if it don't, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be fucking sad. But look, check out this fucked up hood, honey. Let's just wish for the best. Fucking like this. Ew. I did a little minor minor wash too. I didn't really want to get into it because just wanted to see how it was underneath the dirt. See, I didn't even fucking wipe up here. Yeah, I'm gonna take this off. I'm not feeling the roof rack. Maybe when I go snowboarding with the homies. And when it's actually in use. I decided to leave it because I'm not about to do that right now. And I'm just lazy. <laughs> I'm a lazy motherfucker. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I hope you guys like the car. It is a clean title. Lexus IS300 2003 Sports Cross. Another wagon for the books. This is actually, fun fact, this is actually my sixth IS300. <laughs> yeah. Number one was the my dad's. And then the second one was my 01. Third one was this one. Fourth one was the other five speed one and then the fifth one was the sports cross the sixth one is the sports cross yeah six but it is a clean title 190,000 miles it drives really nice past smog really good daily already so far and uh, I just need to register it and we'll be good to go to drive anyways guys I hope you guys like the video I hope you guys like the new daily I do and it's just the paint that's really fucked up on it. And yeah, pretty much, but it drives perfectly fine. But thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Really appreciate all the love you guys giving us and the support. And let's slam this motherfucker.